What are you doing? Pretending to be a computer. A computer? Yes, a computer is basically a machine that processes information. Write down a math problem on this piece of paper. Okay, here. Here you go. That's being a computer? Yes, it is. Sort of. Broadly, a computer is a machine that can carry out a set of instructions to complete a calculation or a task. The word computer was first used in the 1600s to describe the people who did math problems to calculate things like the positions of the stars. But people got bored and made mistakes. So inventors tried to find a machine that could solve math problems more reliably. A mechanical calculator was invented in 1645, but it could only do very simple math by moving dials. The first electronic computers came about because of two scientific breakthroughs. What were they? The binary system and vacuum tubes. What? Well, first the binary system. When we count to 10, we use the digits 0 to 9. The binary system uses just 0 and 1. So 0 would be written as 0, and 1 would be written as 1, but 2 would be written as 1, 0, and so on. Using the binary system, you can write any number with just two digits. Now vacuum tubes are just like a switch that let you turn electricity on or off. Scientists tied a series of vacuum tubes together to make a circuit that represented the digits. One represented by the switch on, and zero represented by the switch off. The first computers used rooms of vacuum tubes tied together with miles of wire. The Mark I was among the first digital computers. It weighed five tons and used cards punched with little holes to program the machine's operation. Transistors, or semiconductors, eventually replaced vacuum tubes. They're much smaller and use less energy than vacuum tubes, so computers could get smaller and faster. But how do computers work? Well, let's look at the parts of a computer. We just take in information, usually by a mouse, a keyboard, or even your voice. Computers take that information, store it on something like a hard drive or a flash memory card. They then process information in a central processing unit, or a CPU, and then gives you your answers back on a screen, through speakers, or on paper. The parts of the computer that you can touch, like the keyboard, the mouse, and the hard drive, are known as the hardware. Software are the programs or the instructions your computers are given to perform tasks. Computers have an operating system, a special program that controls the basic functions of how stuff gets input, stored, processed, and output. Other applications, or apps, build on the operating system's foundation to do specific things, like word processing or playing games. Students like these are learning to code programs or write applications that run applications on computers. And computers can be found almost everywhere. They're in your phones, your refrigerator, your car. Computers use networks to share information. And we all use the World Wide Web or the internet to find out things, to create things, and to connect with each other all across the world.